Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here, I'm Carol and on this channel I do a lot of hauls and unboxings and I'm getting really into jewelry. Uh, I buy it to resell on Poshmark and eBay. You can find me on Poshmark at Tinted Thrift. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok on, at Twitter. Tinted Thrift as well, but I don't often post there. And my eBay store is right down below. So I do have, I've opened it already, but I haven't really looked into it. I do have a Goodwill blue box full of jewelry and treasures. So we're going to dig in and see what we've got. And if there's ever anything that you're interested in, you can always email me at carolresells at gmail.com and let me know what you're interested in. Um, be sure to either include a screen, uh, screenshot or a timestamp so that I know I've got the correct piece. So we're going to get into this. I'm going to move this aside and hopefully not hit my camera too much. Let's go ahead and just get started. Oh, oh, there we go, hitting my camera. All right, so let's start off with this pile here. Just kind of push it aside. And um, yeah, let's just get started. First off, we have a piece of, I don't know, something. Um, some things are gonna go in a craft lot and some will go in a cell slash look into more lot. Um, like this. I don't know what this is. It looks like it's probably something from a keychain though. It's got this R on it. You see that? I don't know what that is. So we'll put that in the, let's look into that a little bit further pile. All right, next we have this lovely chain. There we go. Well, it's like a I'm going to quite call it a chain. It's, it is a necklace. That is very pretty. I do not see any markings on it though and it looks pretty dirty. Um, so I'm guessing it's a pretty basic piece. Let me just make sure that there's nothing on here that I can see. Nope, nothing. So, is that something? No. So um, I, I'm not sure what I'll do with this. I'll probably just put it in a craft a lot since it's not marked. Um, any earrings I'm just going to put aside and see if I have any matches. So there is an earring there. All right, next we have another earring. Put that aside. Here is a necklace with a snowman attached to it. All right, here is, yeah, okay. Nice long necklace here. Lots of little beads and some interesting links. There's like different types of links. There's some here. There's these ones here. And then these beads. And these beads definitely feel plastic. They are not stone. Although these look like they are wood. So um, I'm going to put that in craft. There's no marking on that. Okay, next we have a couple of pieces that are tangled together. So give me one second. Right, we'll start off with this piece here. Just this little necklace. It looks like it might be like a handmade, like an Etsy type um, necklace. I don't see any markings. My dog keeps groaning because she's tired. <sighs> so it says Brave on it. It's a little tarnished. Does not look like silver. It looks like aluminum. I'm going to put that in a craft lot. And then we have this, and it looks like it is, uh, I don't know, um, it is marked. It's from Charming Charlie's. I don't really deal with Charming Charlie's, so that will go into a craft lot as well. Um, here's a couple of earrings. Put those aside. This is pretty. It looks like it should stretch, but it really doesn't stretch too much. So I wonder if I can get it on my wrist. I have kind of, you yeah, know, big hands. That is okay, that's pretty. Um, it's very like 80s style, there we go. I do not see any kind of markings on it. There is this right here, I don't know what that means. I don't know if it's on all of them, but um, I don't know, it just, it looks tarnished. So that's, I'm gonna put that in a maybe pile. I don't really know what to do with that. Um, next, we have this necklace here, which I will pull out. Got some pieces that are tangled up with it. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, one more. Okay, all right. This big necklace here. Um, it's very pretty. These are glass beads with silver tone charms and all sorts of all sorts of stuff on this. Uh, is there any marks? There are no marks that I can see. It looks like very like Chico's. You guys see that? Um, I don't know. I'm I'm a little turned off by this, so I'm gonna put that in a maybe pile. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything with it. So, Earring, what is this? This looks like it is an anklet. That is too big to be a bracelet. That is an anklet. And are you marked anywhere? I don't see any markings anywhere on here. So it's cute, it's very pretty, it's very dainty. Um, maybe I'll put that in a lot with a few other like dainty gold pieces. So we'll put that in that maybe pile there. Uh, we've got a bracelet. I don't deal with those bracelets. We've got an earring. We've got another earring. Oh, that's pretty. I hope I find the other one of that one. Um, this chain looks broken. Not gonna do anything with that. Um, this, okay, here we go. We've got some hair, gross. Gross, gross, gross. All right. We have a tassel necklace here. Um, it's interesting. No markings, but um, this is a maybe. Um, these beads are definitely plastic. They're not any kind of stone or anything like that. Um, I don't know, that's a maybe, we'll see. Um, here is a giant earring. Uh, let's see, what is this? Uh, there is a cute bracelet. Um, I'm gonna put that in a maybe pile. Um, here, this uh, looks, is that a bracelet or is that an anklet? I can't really tell. It's really cute. It's got a little elephant on it. I, I believe this looks like it should be an anklet. It looks big. So I'm gonna guess that that's an anklet. But look at how cute this little guy is. He's adorable. So, so cute. So um, these are, I they look like they're just glass and that doesn't look like it is sterling at all so um, i might sell that i think that's really sweet all right we've got another earring got a couple earrings lots of earrings in this one there's one there's one hopefully we have some matching sets this time the last one that we did i didn't really get many matching sets okay so this looks like brighton is my is going to be my guess on this um I don't know. It definitely looks like Brighton and it says friends on it. It's very cute. I really like this. I bet it came with a set, um, which, you know, to, oh yeah, see, there you go. It says Brighton right there. Uh, this is really pretty though. I will definitely sell this and, um, I wonder if I can get that. Ooh, we actually... I don't think I can sell that. That looks like that is not even tarnished. That is the finish coming off. So unfortunately, that is not sellable. Bummer, because I do like selling Brighton jewelry. Um, this is a plain chain, nothing exciting. I don't see any marks. I don't see anything like that on here. Um, craft, there's an earring. Um, what are you? Okay, you you stay there for a second. Um, just a plain chain, nothing exciting, no marks, craft. Um, this, um, oh, it's got a football on it, and it is, um, Steelers colors? Steelers? No. Who's, who's New Orleans? Saints. These are Saints colors, and it's got footballs on it. Um, that's got a lot of damage on it, though. Um, this is a very, very strange bracelet. I've never seen anything quite like this. <laughs> so, but I'm not even gonna deal with it. That's gonna go into craft. Looks like here's another one that is like that. Well, oh, you've got a stowaway here. Come on, get off of there. All right, there we go. 
Here's another bracelet that is very much like that first one. Um, it looks like somebody made these and just kind of donated their stock to Goodwill or something. There's some really great beads on here though that somebody can use. It's a cute little, little ladybug there. Um, so that'll go into craft. It's a cute little bracelet with a feather on it. That will also go to craft, but that is very cute. <laughs> a button cover. <laughs> That's funny. Um, what are you? That is too big to be a bracelet, but I've never seen an anklet. Yeah, see, look how massive that is. I've never seen an anklet quite like this. So I'm going to guess that it's an anklet, but regardless, I'm not going to sell it. It's just going to go into craft. Craft lot. Same with this guy. These are little wood beads and silver. That might be sterling, but I don't know. I'm not going to bother with it. We have this guy. This is very pretty. If I can get it to sit correctly. Let's undo this here. Okay. All right, there we go. So it is just a very long chain with these like medallions on it. Unfortunately, there is some major damage. So into the craft lot you go. Here is an earring. Let's get our next uh, our next handful out. Um, don't have anything exciting yet. There's nothing that is really, you know, blowing my skirt up. Okay, so we've got another earring. Got this pretty little ring. Are you marked anywhere? No markings. It's just a little brass ring. That's pretty. Um, but I'm still, I don't think I'm going to deal with this. Yeah, I don't see any any marks on it. It's just a lot of kind of tarnishing. So that'll go into craft lot. Um, more earrings. Um, a chain attached to, there we go. This is cute. It's a little Valentine style little um, charm bracelet. And this is very cute. It's got little hearts and doves and arrows and beads and all sorts of cute things. I might sell this. That's really, really, really sweet. So I'll put that in the sell pile. This is cool. Look how sparkly that is. That's beautiful. Um, it looks like that's probably st sterling 925 silver. Is there any markings on here that I see? I do not see, but this, this intrigues me. This is very interesting. I'm going to have to Maybe test that chain. Let's see. Oh, the chain is not. And the that's pulling too. Okay. Well, I still like this. I still think that it can clean up nicely. And um, I think it's pretty. So I'm going to put that in the cell pile. Here is that. And a part of a chain. And... Hmm, that's interesting. I like that. All right, so that will, is that sterling? No, it, <laughs> no. Um, so this, I, I'm gonna look into this a little bit more. It's not Pandora, but it certainly has that feel to it. So that's a maybe. You can let go of that. Uh, that is nothing. Um, this is a broken chain. It's broken on this side. So let's see if it's gold or anything. It doesn't look like it's gold. No. So that'll go into a craft lot. More bracelets. Oh, that are tangled up with something else. Okay, so there's these three bracelets. This is missing a lot of gems here. This one's really pretty, but it's got a lot of pitting around. Um, so I'm not going to deal with that. And are you worth getting untangled? There's one that goes in there. I don't know if this is really worth getting t untangled. These are plastic. Those will end up going to craft a lot. That will as well. And yeah, I'm not going to deal with that necklace either. Okay, so those I'm not even going to bother untangling. This is interesting. This looks old, really old. 
Oh, there's shells. Look at that. So do you see all of these? They look like they are cut shells. I wonder if those can clean up at all. I'll have to look at that. Looks like some of them are kind of shiny and some of them are, looks like they got some sort of, I don't know, something on them. But this clasp is really interesting. Really interesting. And yeah, it goes like that. But look at this filigree work on here. Do you see that right there? That is super interesting. I am intrigued by this. This definitely looks like it is very old. <laughs> really, really old. So I am going to put this in the uh, interested in pile. There's no magnet on it. So that's good. Okay. So we'll put that in the interested pile. Um, this will go in a craft a lot. It's very cute. It's got little dolphins, but those you can buy for like a dollar. Um, some more bracelets. This one's cool. I like this kind of design on it. Ooh, hmm, I don't know. I mean, I think if it was marked, I might get more into it, but I, it's not. It's a maybe. I don't know about that one. Okay, well, these are two pieces that I'm not even gonna really deal with too much. Okay, so there's one of those wire. It's cute, but it's, yeah, I'm not gonna deal with that. And then this is broken. So that will go into the craft lot as well. Here's another earring. Here's another one of those weird bracelets. It's got a ladybug on this one as well. So this one will also go into a craft lot. Um, you know. Um, let's see, where is this? Oh, this is cute. Excuse me, ma'am. My cat is trying to play with the craft jewelry. Um, it says mama bear and it's got two baby bears and a mama bear. This is really sweet actually. I might end up keeping this for myself because I don't think I'm going to sell it. Um, it's because I don't think it's really worth selling. But I have two children so this might stay with me. I like it. Okay. Alright, another earring. Deal with you later. Um, oh, what's this? It's another charm bracelet. I love these charm bracelets because they were usually really popular in like the 50s. And so this one's really cute. It's got Santa and reindeer. Aw. Um, they were really popular in like the 50s. And so it can be fairly easy to date them. Um, this one... I'm gonna look up a little bit further. These, oh God, these are really cute. Look at that, look at the little Santa Claus and then the little reindeers. I love it. Um, I don't know if this one is from the 50s just because this lobster clasp does not look like it's right for that time, but it intrigues me. So that will go into a maybe lot. Um, it's an earring, there's another earring. Here is more earrings, more and more earrings. Oh, she's pretty though. Look how pretty that one is. All right, more, more. What are you? Oh, okay, you're a sweater clip. I will definitely sell this. How pretty is that? It's like this enamel hand-painted flowers on silver. Uh, not silver, <laughs> silver tone. And See on the back, it's got these clips here. These would clip on either side of a sweater. And it's, it has a patent number. It says patent 2853781, I think. I'm not sure. But that is really cute. This is definitely 50s, and it's definitely vintage. I will absolutely sell this. Love that. That is really cool. Another earring, bracelet. Yeah, I'm not really going to deal with that. Um, a gecko necklace. Hmm, I don't know if I'm going to deal with this. It's interesting, but it's, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm not going to deal with that. That'll go in a craft lot as well. All right. This looks pretty, but it's not, it, it feels cheap. It's very pretty though, but it feels really like inexpensive. These are all wood beads here. And then this is plastic and then this is just like a brass little brass heart here um there's no magnet magnetic 
you know, pull or anything except for here. Um, but I'm not even going to deal with that. All right. What are you? You're pretty. Okay. Um, I do like these beads, how they have kind of a partial AB kind of finish to them. And it looks like it's intentional because every one of those beads is like that. And then these here, um, they feel like how light they are heavy and they're waxy, which is good indication. And then these are glass. Uh, this is an interesting one. I really like these colors too. Well, okay, here's the thing. See all that pitting there? That's going to stop me from selling this, unfortunately, because it just has a lot of like just wear to the chain and to that clasp. So it's a bummer because I thought that was cool. Um, this is cool. This is fan and this feels like bone or something like that. I'll have to look into it a little bit further, but that is really pretty. It's all hand carved and this is really interesting the way this is done because it's got half of it has these large beads and seed beads and then the other half has two rows of seed beads. Um, this looks like it's tarnished silver plate, I'm guessing, but I really like this. I think that's really cool. And it's not, um, well, we might have had something else that belonged to it, but um, it's it's not uh, ivory. It is, I think it's bone. So, so that's an interesting one. All right, we have another earring, another earring, and another bracelet. So, handful number three. Let's work with this here. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. Hold on, we're stuck. Okay, so this with this carving is definitely mid-century. It's, um, it's not gold, it is some sort of brass. It's not magnetic, um, but it's not, I don't think it's gold, it doesn't look like gold. Maybe it's gold plated, but it's got, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's it's not it's not any kind of gold, but I really like this etching here And so I'm going to sell that because I like that. Okay um, Here's a hematite necklace with an onk on it um, And I really like this here. Um, unfortunately, this style is just not popular anymore This is a very 90s style, but it's not one of the 90 styles that really came back. It's also broken, so this will end up going to a craft lot. Uh, there's a little bracelet, which is magnetic. There is another one. Here's another little gold one. Um, this looks like it is a handmade bracelet. It's very cute, but I'm not really interested in selling it. Here's an earring. Um, here is a cute little bracelet that says Inspire. Again, not really interested in selling that one. Um, well, here's another earring. Here's a shell necklace. Very, very typical of shell necklaces. Um, I'm not going to bother selling this, but it is cute. Uh, here is a lovely little brooch, if I can get it out of this chain. Ooh, and it's attached to something really cool looking. Hold on. Okay, get out of the way. All right, here is a snowflake. And it's got these AB crystals. Unfortunately, there are crystals missing right in the center there. So, sorry, but you get to go into a craft lot. No markings on the back either, so I'm not really, I'm not really worried about that. Okay, so you, you, I saw you. And you are tangled. I need to very gently try to get you out. All right. We'll get back to that. There's something that's very interesting in here. But before we do that, here is another one of those bracelets that are like Pandora. Um, so maybe I'll put that with the other one that I have. I hear my dog pittering around. Um, this is a tiny bracelet, and that is going to go into craft lot because it is teeny, teeny, tiny. 
All right, here is another charm bracelet. This one is actually, I mean, it's similar to the ones that I don't like, but I like this one because it's got like cupcakes and cake and candy and stuff like that on it. And I think it's really fun. Um, I might end up selling this, doing something with this. Looks like it's handmade. I don't know. I think this one's a lot of fun. Um, it's got a toggle clasp, which I like. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. It's another earring. Here's a stretch bracelet. This is just going to go into a craft lot. Let's see if I can get this out now. All right, so this is a piece that... I saw that is really interesting. I love this so much. Are you magnetic? You are not magnetic. Ooh, you are interesting. I like this. Okay, so first off, let's take a look at this, this pendant here. Oh, that is beautiful. And then look at the detail in the chain. These chains are all like this. I don't know, the links are all just like these little filigree. There's some filigree right here, which is gorgeous. Um, I am going to guess that, look at the, the clasp. I'm going to guess that this is around 1930s, 1940s, but I don't know. I'm going to have to kind of see if uh, I can find anything similar. Definitely very intrigued by this. It's Art Deco. It's sparkly as all heck, and I love it. I love this. So I'm gonna have to look at everything um, under a loop. Let's see if I can see any kind of detail right now. God, even looking at it under the loop, you can't really see it. But, well, you can kind of see it. The detail on this is just absolutely beautiful so I'll do a little bit more searching on this but this is a very exciting piece I love this so much so much that is absolutely gorgeous okay enough gushing over that uh, we've got an earring we have is this another beautiful piece we've got it stuck on something that is not so beautiful <laughs> oh come on get off there we go all right, here is another piece. Look at that. That's gorgeous too. And this one has an uh, adjustable chain. It's got a clasp that is very similar to that last one, but I don't know if that is original to the piece. Looks like that has been, it's been replaced because it is silver and the rest of the piece is gold tone. So I'm guessing that that is not original, but check out this pendant. That is absolutely beautiful. Even the back has this really, really pretty, let me see if I can get this to focus in close. It's got this like pretty little detail all around the back. I love that. That's gorgeous. Okay, so we've got another piece that I am very excited about. Here's another earring. Um, what is this? Okay, this is just a, it's like a chain for an uh, ID badge or something, so we're not even going to deal with that. Um, this chain is, is it magnetic? Yes, so that'll go into craft. Here's another chain, not magnetic. And, oh, it says Italy on that side. Let's see if I can get it to show you. I can see it from here. Oh, come on. Yeah, you can't really see it, but it does say Italy on one side and it says 925 on the other and it is a silver rope chain that I will for sure clean up and sell. It looks vintage. Um, that old lobster clasp looks original. Um, really like this. Cool, okay. Okay, now we're getting to the good stuff. I was getting a little worried. Um, okay, so there's a bracelet that I'm not gonna deal with. And uh, an earring. Earring, another earring. We're gonna go through the earrings at the end. Um, here is a, 
a chain that we're not going to deal with. Here is a bracelet that we're not going to deal with. Here's another chain that we're not really going to deal with because it's pulling. And I can already see the tarnish. <laughs> so that will go into the craft lot. Mm, broken earring. We're going to put that straight in the craft lot. That earring looks very similar to that one. So I don't know. Um, yeah, nothing. Here's another chain that looks exactly like the one that I just put in the craft lot. Magnetic here, but not here. Hmm, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not really too interested in it. I'll put that in a craft lot. Maybe I'll put all of my chains together because I've got a ton of chains. Here's another one. A ton of chains that don't have, you know, a whole lot of value, but maybe I could just put those all into one lot and just be like, buy all these chains. Maybe a, a crafter will need some chains. Okay, this is pretty. It's got some gross hair on it. Um, it's pretty, but you can see where the glue on the pearls is yellowing. So I'm not really going to deal with this too much, but it is really pretty. But it's got too much damage. I'm not going to deal with it. Uh, is this Alex and Ani? No. I haven't gotten an Alex and Ani bracelet yet. Uh, this has a scripture on it. So I'll put that with my religious stuff to donate. Here's a pair of earrings. That is not doing anything. Hmm. So this is, I like this. This looks like it is silver, sterling silver. I like this design. Um, it's almost like a Egyptian design. Maybe it's Mexican. I think it might be Mexican. Um, I like that a lot. Okay. So I'm going to put that in the cell pile. It's another earring. It's another little stretch bracelet. And this is a pendant. So um, I thought it was an earring, but it is definitely a pendant. And I don't see any markings on it, but it is interesting. So I'm going to put that aside. Okay, let's see. What else do I have here? Lots of stuff. I'm almost done, though. Okay. This and then there's going to be one more, um, one more little batch. So we've got an earring. We've got... Some, I've got another earring. That's pretty. Ooh, I like that. And it looks like that's lapis. Um, it's lapis and 925 silver. Yeah, that's 925 silver. That's really pretty. I hope we find the match. There's another one. There's another one. All right, some bracelets. More bracelets. Okay. More bracelets. Put those aside. Um, cute little <laughs> cupcake bracelet. That's, I'm not going to deal with though. It's very cute though. An earring. What are you? You're heavy, whatever you are. It's a very heavy, heavy bracelet or a necklace that is magnetic um, with this really heavy link. I don't mind that. I'll look that over a little bit more carefully to see if there's any damage or anything to it, but I, I, I don't know. I kind of like that. So we'll put that in the maybe pile. Um, what are you? Okay. It's just one of those little floaty bracelets. I'm not really going to deal with this too much. It's got, it does have a mark on it that says, what does that say? MRQ. I don't know what that is, but I'm not going to deal with that. Uh, here is, um, we have the other earring to that. Um, this is cool. That's really cool. Okay, so it does say 925 right here. That's probably some sort of plate, or maybe it's not full 925, although that is not magnetic, and that's not magnetic. It's just the chain, so that's probably just a really heavy plate, but I'm not going to you know, keep it away from its mate. This looks, I don't know, it's really pretty. All right, I'm gonna clean that up. I love that. 
That pendant is gorgeous. Look at how sparkly it is. So sparkly. Okay, I really like that. All right, um, we've got another bracelet. We have, eh, this isn't very exciting. It's this shell necklace. It looks like it's from like a department store or like a mall store. Okay, I'm not gonna deal with that. Here's an earring. Um, here's a clamp bracelet that's got a lot of pitting along the edges, so I'm not gonna deal with that. Here's another earring. Um, this bracelet's very interesting, very magnetic, <laughs> but it's got like these coils and beads going all around it. Mm, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not excited about that one. All right, you um, are bringing a friend with you. Okay. Whoop. Okay, uh, that's missing beads along each side, so that'll end up being junked. Um, this is a memory bracelet. It's got these little tiny turtles all over it. I'm not going to deal with it. It's got, it's, it's cute though. I have another earring. Here's an earring. You're interesting. Okay. Let's see. This is a beaded bracelet. I like it. It looks vintage. It looks old. Um, I don't hate that. All right, uh, I'm going to look into this a little bit more. I don't see any marks on it, though, which is not the best sign. However, you know, with vintage jewelry, men don't necessarily need marks. Uh, here's another piece of that, that necklace that we found earlier. All right, this is interesting. Look at those gorgeous cabochons. They each have a star pattern inside. This is definitely old. Definitely looks like silver. I would bet my, well, not bet my life on it being silver, but I would, I would bet, you know, pretty hard that that was silver. These have some scratches and whatnot on them, so they may just need to be buffed a little bit, but that is really gorgeous. Another way you can kind of get an idea of vintage jewelry is it was always really small and although I have kind of biggish wrists that's really small compared to today's standards Br uh, bracelets nowadays tend to be a little bit bigger I love this so much like so much that's so pretty okay so that is going into my cell pile we've got a this is a pretty good box I was getting really worried and now I'm oh now I've got a cat talking to me. Uh, that's going to go in. Craft lot. Here is earring. Uh, that's going to go in a craft lot, but uh, can somebody tell me something? Okay, so I've seen this before. See that where it looks like it has a little seed in it? Somebody explain that to me because I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. This is I've seen it before though, so I know it, it's some sort of meaning, but I don't know. All right, so that's going to go in a craft. Um, oh, what is this? This looks fun. Okay, definitely Mexico. Um, yeah. Yeah, definitely a Mayan, maybe? I don't know. I'm, I, I don't know a whole lot about about it but um or maybe it's native american um although there is an alpaca there oh this is cool i like this are you magnetic you're not magnetic you're a little magnetic on there but these are not and this chain is not it's just it's just the clasp but how cool is that that is really pretty so we've got a llama we've got a pot We've got a little guy, I'm sorry, I don't know what to call him. We have an eagle, we have a sun, we have a hand with a fist, and we have some sort of flower. I love this. Okay, I really like that. I'm gonna research that a little bit more. That, I'm not gonna deal with. Got a little chain with a big chain. Hold on. Little chain has a something like a, okay, 
Yeah, let go. Okay, we're gonna get rid of that. All right, I see something very exciting on this. Super, super exciting. So first off, you see 750 right there. But if you flip it over, 750 means 18 karat gold, by the way, which is very exciting. Flip it over and you'll see it's upside down. You'll see Tiffany and company. Oh my God, I got Tiffany gold. I've gotten Tiffany before in a couple of boxes a long time ago. We've got to take that little knot out, but I've never gotten Tiffany gold and this is a beautiful gold chain. This chain will sell for a decent amount of money. I am so, so thrilled with this. It's, this looks like it is, mm, can't tell whether this is 16 or 18. I'm gonna say it's probably, I don't know. I'm not gonna guess. That's very exciting. Tiffany, guys. So there, can you see it? Hold on, my hands are filthy right now. It says it right there, Tiffany and company. So that is super exciting. I can't believe I got Tiffany in this. That is going to be put in a very special pile right there. Okay, don't move. You're worth a lot of money. Um, I think new these sell for uh, between three and 500. Um, this is interesting. Everything is so interesting to me. Does that say anything? It doesn't. Looks like brass or some sort of plate. But I like this. It looks like it's like Eastern Indian or something like that. These beads are really cool. It is broken, unfortunately, so it'll end up going in a craft lot, but I like that a lot. It's a shame that that's broken. Okay, there's a little tiny rhinestone there. We're gonna put that aside. All right, so we have the final bits, which will, that's it, okay. Looks like it's mostly earrings and bracelets, so we've got some bracelets here. Oh, here's another one of those etched bracelets. So I'm gonna put that one with the first one that I saw, um, and I'll probably end up just selling those together. So let's get rid of some of these bracelets here. Here's another one, here's another one. Uh, here's another stretchy bracelet. It's cute, but I don't really deal with a lot of stretchy bracelets. So those are all gonna go into a craft lot. Um, here's an earring, here's an earring, here's an earring, here's an earring, 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 bead. That's a cute bead though. A little heart, and then we'll go into craft. Um, what are you? You're a pretty snaky chain with no markings, but it's very pretty. Magnetic, I'm guessing. A little bit of a pull. I did get a little bit of a pull, maybe not now. There's a pull right there. Um, I'll investigate this one a little bit further. That's pretty cool looking. Um, if, it's, if anything, it's probably like a gold plated. So, so there's that, here's another earring. Here's another one of these button covers. That's really cute. Uh, earring, earring, earring. I'll put that with the earrings. Earring. Uh, pin, okay, that's a cute pin. Is that a donkey and some horseshoes? That's fun, okay. I'm um, gonna put that in the maybe pile. Uh, let's go with this one first. Uh, that's really pretty. Native American, 925 I'm guessing. Somewhere in there it'll say 925 and it might even have some initials. It's hard to tell though. So I will investigate that a little bit further. Yeah, and then it's got this little, little itty bitty tiny little uh, bead there that looks like it's turquoise. Really, really cute. I'm guessing it's probably about a seven. And I have a, a mandrel, but it's all the way over in the other room, so I'll deal with that later. I like that a lot. All right, this cute little guy. This looks like a child's ring. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably around a size 
six, I'm guessing. Are you marked anywhere? There is a little bit of a marking right on the inside, right there. Let's see if I can see anything with that. Uh, it says six, so that's probably the size. And uh, it looks like there's a little bird on this side. It almost looks like it's like a like an ostrich or something along that line. So this is interesting. I'll have to look this up and see what I can find up about it because I really like that. All right, there's another earring. Oh, <laughs> it's a little swordfish, but he's broken. He looked like he was a pin, but he's broken. So he'll go into a craft lot. There's another earring that's really pretty. It's definitely sterling. 925NW3. Uh, I hope we find the other one of that one. This is cool. It is marked on the other side. I can't really see what it says. It says copyright 2004. <sighs> what does that say? Maybe Rachel something? Let's see if I can get this I don't know can you see that let's see if I can zoom in just a little bit and maybe we can get it to do something there you go all right so somebody tell me if that they recognize that let me show you the other side here she's really pretty I love this I hope we can figure out what it is I really like it, definitely handmade. That's gorgeous, okay, so that'll go in that pile. Earring, ear ooh. Why is it all the best earrings I can only find one of? That is really, really gorgeous. And it is marked on the back, sterling and some sort of initial, but look at that. And I this is I didn't see the other one on in here, so I'm guessing I don't have it. Um, I don't know what that is. It looks like a little rope. This looks like it's a little silver rope charm. I like that. Okay, we're gonna put that in the maybe pile. Um, here's another earring. It's a broken piece. That's the other piece of that earring that we found before. Um, here's a cool looking earring. Another one, and this ring. Ring is not magnetic. Do you have any kind of markings? No. Okay, but I do like it. That's really pretty. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go through this pile of earrings and see if I can find any matches, and I will be right back. Okay, so we are back and here are the pairs that we have. I really like these. I think those are really cool. Um, these look handmade. They look like they're made by the same person. This one's funny because I have three of the same earring. Um, and they, they don't look like they're anything super special, but I just thought it was funny that there were three of them. Um, everything else looks like costume jewelry. These honkers, these are massive. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with these, but, um, at least I have some pairs here. And then I thought I would show you guys the ones that are interesting to me or that are made out of some sort of precious metal. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here so I can show you a little bit easier. Okay, let's start off with this one here. This, um, looks like it is lapis and it is marked on the back, um, I think it's marked 530, which is same as 925 or 550. Um, anyways, it is marked on the back and it's marked on the hook here as well. And the hook is marked 925. So I really like this. I see, I can see somebody taking this off and making a pendant. And so that one is interesting. This one here is also sterling. It's marked right here on this little hook that it is 925 sterling. So that one I liked. Um, this one I had shown before, and this one is marked on the back. I can't remember what it's marked. 
take my glasses off here. Um, NW8. Okay, so this is marked on the back 925 NW8, and I really like this. Um, unfortunately, there was just one. Uh, this I really liked. I don't think this is silver, though. It doesn't have any magnetic pull on it, but it is also not marked, and it's got kind of a goldish sheen to it. But I liked it. I liked it enough to um, pull it out. It's got that tiger eye. I like that. This one you also saw, and I'm super bummed that I don't have this other one. Um, I love this um, inlay here. And then on the back, it says 925, and I didn't quite get to see what the rest of it said. Um, it is stamped uh, something EJ. EJ and then Sterling. But isn't this gorgeous? So bummed I don't have the other one. And then this last one here is also Sterling. I think. Did I see that it was Sterling? Hold on. I did see something. Yeah. So this last one here is also Sterling. And it has a Sterling star here with marcasite inlay. I think that is so pretty and um, I really liked it, but unfortunately there is only one, but this can be, take, be taken off really easily and be used for something else. So um, I'm gonna put these with my other silver pieces and I'm just gonna do a silver jewelry lot. Um, I will hold on to them for just a little while in case I find the matches to them. Maybe one of you who got a Goodwill blue box got one of the matches and we can kind of figure something out. Or maybe the match is in a future Goodwill blue box that I have. So there you go. Uh, this box I was a little concerned with when we first started, but it definitely started to pay off in a big way. The biggest thing obviously is the, um, where is she? Where is she? There she is. So the biggest thing obviously is the Tiffany and Company gold, 18 karat gold chain, which I am thrilled about, which is getting more and more little knots in it. So I'll have to you know, fix that, but that is very exciting. Um, also, the antique jewelry that I got, or vintage jewelry that I got, I'm so intrigued by this one. I love this piece. It's just, I mean, okay, look at, see if I can get that to focus. Look at that detail along the edges here, and look at the detail along these links. It is just exquisite, and I am so, so happy to have this. So beautiful. And then there was that other piece, this one here, which is also absolutely gorgeous. Um, unfortunately, there's a lot of scratches on these shells that hopefully will come out. I'll move my pretty little chain over. Um, but look at how cool this jewelry is. I, I've got so many, so many cool things in here. Oh, that one. Oh, this one. I know, I keep gushing over this. This piece right here, scooch all down. This piece right here is just, oh, I'm in love with this piece. This box has just done me so well. I'm so happy with it. I hope you guys are too. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up because I will keep making it if you keep watching them. And if you can, if you haven't yet, you can subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you join the family. And stay tuned for more jewelry unboxings. We will see you again next time. Bye.